It is likely to improve City Hall's credit rating in the long run, but changes announced by Mayor Emanuel today will mean higher taxes. Political editor Mike Flannery joins us with the latest on financial problems that have pushed Chicago to the tipping point. Mike. Jeff, the mayor says he's ending a series of bad financial practices that helped to give Chicago the worst credit rating of any city but Detroit. He compared it to not paying a credit card bill until the inevitable day of reckoning. That is where the city is today. Our credit cards have maxed out, and we must adopt a different approach. The mayor said the city of Chicago will phase out the use of long-term borrowing to fund current operations. A bit like mortgaging your home to pay your grocery or bar bill. Not sustainable. But it will cost taxpayers some more money now. City Hall's also dumping its complicated interest rate swaps and variable debt borrowings. Things that are kind of like adjustable rate mortgages. Emanuel's also promising to continue rebuilding the city's depleted reserve fund. But none of what he announced does a thing about the biggest money mess monster confronting local taxpayers, that nearly $20 billion in unfunded pensions for city workers, and that doesn't include about $10 billion more for Chicago public school teacher pensions. None of these challenges will be simple or easy to solve. The hole we are in is too deep, and it was dug over many, many years. While the mayor was speaking, by coincidence, a website proposing a solution to the pension issue went live. Sponsored by a newly formed nonpartisan group calling itself Citizens for Pension Integrity. It offers an easy to understand explanation and a do it yourself calculator for taxpayers and government workers to, quote, share the pension pain. Retired businessman Ed Backrax, the founder, he's already spent about $200,000 with more to come to help solve the crisis. And if we don't do something right now, uh, it's going to be too late. So before it's too late, what is their proposed comprehensive solution to the pension crisis? Well, city workers would accept some reduction in pension benefits and perhaps in the future a 401k style retirement fund. The rest of us would pay a special pension property tax, kind of like a special assessment on a condominium. The catch is the money wouldn't go to City Hall, but to a special account where politicians couldn't get their greasy mitts on it. The pension tax would last, say, 20 years, then go away. Check it out at pensionintegrity.org. You make it sound so simple. Well, they make it <laughs> yeah. sound simple. Yeah. The, the mayor has negotiated some deals like this with the laborers and some other uh, city unions, and it has, uh, you know, it's, it's in court. We'll have to see yeah. whether the courts go along with that. But uh, I think the deal in the end is going to be something like what these guys are talking about. Mm. Okay. Mike Flannery, thank you. Thanks, Mike.